Let's look at some example cases. The top left diagram shows a high correlation between the following error and the commanded velocity. That is, they are essentially the same shape. This is due to damping in the system. To compensate for this, increase KVFF. As you increase KVFF, the magnitude of both halves of the parabolic shape will get closer to zero. If you increase it too much, the shape will invert and the magnitudes will grow in the opposite direction. You don't want to do this. The bottom left diagram shows a high correlation between the following error and the commanded acceleration. They have the same shape. This is due to inertial lag. To compensate for this, increase KAFF. As you increase KAFF, the slope on the ramp on both halves of the shape will get closer to zero, bringing all three points, left, middle, and right, of the triangle closer to zero. If you increase it too much, the shape will invert and the slope will increase in the opposite direction and the tips of the triangle will grow in size in the opposite direction as well. You want to avoid this. The top right corner shows a square wave type shape in the following error with an initial flat spot, a drop, and another flat spot of the same magnitude but opposite sign. This is caused by friction. To compensate for this, add KFFF, which gives a slight boost to the motor to overcome this friction. As you increase KFFF, the magnitude of the left flat spot comes towards zero, while the flat spot on the right will come up. If you add too much, the shape will invert. The bottom right diagram shows a physical system limitation. In this case, you are probably subjecting the motor to too strong of an acceleration for your system's capabilities. But you can also try adding KFFF to correct for this. The top left corner shows a response that is the opposite from the diagram in the top left corner of the previous slide. This shape is due to having too much KVFF, so to correct it, just decrease KVFF until the valley on the left and the peak on the right both disappear, and the falling air oscillates about zero. The bottom left corner shows a response that is the opposite from the diagram in the bottom left corner of the previous slide. This shape is due to having too much KAFF, so to correct it, just decrease KAFF until the triangular tips on the left and right come up to zero, the tip in the middle comes down to zero, and the following error oscillates about zero. The top right corner is a mixed case caused by the combination of damping and friction. To compensate for this, first increase KVFF to eliminate the rounding of the extremes of the left and right halves of the curve. At this point, the falling error curve should look just like the curve with a flat spot on the left half of the curve and another flat spot on the right half of the curve of equal magnitude and opposite sign. At this point, increase KFFF until the flat spots come to zero. The bottom right corner is a mixed case caused by the combination of inertial lag and friction. To compensate for it, first increase KAFF until the ramped portions on the left and right halves of the curve come down and become flat spots of equal magnitude but opposite in sign. Then, increase KFFF until the flat spots come to zero. As a reference point for an unloaded 24 volts DC brushless motor, that can handle 4 amps continuous and 8 amps peak, the order of magnitude of the gains is as follows. KP is roughly between 0 and 100. KVFB is roughly between 250 and 2000. KI is on the order of 10 to the negative 3. KVFF is almost always the same magnitude as KVFB. KAFF is on the order of 10,000. KFFF is usually between 100 and 1000. For this particular kind of motor, just as a reference point for you. There are two alternative derivative gains, motorx.servo.kvifb and motorx.servo.kviff. The difference between these gains and their aforementioned counterparts, kvfb and kvff, is where their results get added into the servo loop. kvfb and kvff are added to the output of the integrator, whereas kvifb and kviff are added to the input of the integrator. This basically means that kvifb and kviff are better for disturbance rejection and minimizing destabilization due to disturbances, which produces better velocity trajectory tracking. In contrast, KVFB and KVFF are better for minimizing following error when tracking position trajectories. We recommend using KVIFB and KVIFF if you expect there will be a large number of disturbances in the machine or if you will primarily be tracking constant velocities as opposed to widely varying position trajectories in which case you should use KVFB and KVFF instead. Generally speaking, we do not use both KVIFB and KVFB and both KVFF and KVIFF. You should choose one or the other 
And if you use KVIFB, you should use KVIFF as well. Do not mix and match between the two sets of gains.